Welcome back. Still here at Hard Labor Creek Shooting Sports in Chipley, Florida. Here for a, finally a great year uh, of weather here for the Wausau Possum Classic 3D Archery Tournament. Uh, if you're a regular viewer of the show, you're used to seeing us in the rain. Uh, year after year, event after event, for the last several, uh, it's been nasty. Uh, nonetheless, they've been having fairly decent turnouts uh, just due to the nature of, uh, of bow hunters uh, and folks that are in this sport. They don't let a little bit of weather get in the way, but I can guarantee you they're going to enjoy today. Here right now with Linda Marlowe. Linda, from a, uh, a family whose name is uh, well known in this sport, certainly in this area, a mother of Jacob, who has actually won this event a couple of times. Right, right. Um, Linda, we've got a, a pretty good field of competitors here already. I think we've got another 30 minutes for registration before we get started. Right. It's sort of a last minute event. We don't get a lot of pre-registrations because people don't like to come out in the rain necessarily. No, they don't. Uh, you guys do. I know that your, your family does. Uh, what do you think so far of what you see um, uh, as far as the number of folks that are showing up and that sort of thing? I think it's a really good turnout for, for a local event to support the fire department. I, I think it's going to be good. Now, you're a competitor yourself. Uh, right. How long have you been shooting the bow? Uh, probably about four or five years. Okay. Did you get out of it just did you get into it just out of self-defense so that you could spend time with your family? Pretty much. Kind of one of those things. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Every woman that we speak to says the same thing. I, my, my husband got into it. My boyfriend got into it. My family was into it. If I want to spend time with them, I needed to learn how to shoot that's, the bow. That's pretty much what it is. A lot more interesting to actually be out there and shooting than just to watch them. It's not a spectator sport, definitely. Yeah, you, you've seen them shoot a few times. You've pretty much seen it all. Mm -hmm. Especially with 3D archery. Hunting probably even worse because... To have the shot, to, to get the opportunity to even take a shot, obviously you're going to sit there for long, long hours, and then the, it's over in a second. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that much patience. Now, do you hunt? No, no, I don't hunt. Okay, so you're just involved in the, in the target Just the archery, yeah. Okay. Just the 3D. Thousand dollars first prize, as is usually the case out here today, and mm -hmm. then some other cash prizes beyond that. It gets people's attention. It does, it does. And, I mean, it's good that they offer prize money, because, you know, a lot of local shoots don't offer, it's just trophies, so... Yeah, it was interesting. The, the folks from Bullets and Bones are here today, mm -hmm. and uh, we actually interviewed them, I think, three years ago uh, at the first event here, and uh, and they said that. They were over in, from Defuniac, and not that it's that far away, but it's a good hour drive, and uh, they said, oh, absolutely, you start talking that kind of money, it gets our attention. It does, it does. I mean, an hour for us is, is nothing. You know, we just went to Texas last week, so... It's yeah, and you guys are around Ebro, which which is just about an hour away. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize Washington County is as big <laughs> as it is. And actually, a lot of people don't think Kerryville and Ebro are even part of Washington right. County. Right. I know most people don't think Kerryville is, and since Ebro is so close to Bay, they think it's in Bay County. Yeah, if you're on Highway 20, you're in Washington County, then you go into Bay County, then you go back into Washington County, cutting across going to the west. Mm -hmm. um, this has got to be a good opportunity for a family to spend a day together um, in an environment in which obviously you're all having a good time. It's some friendly competition with the prospect of walking away with some money, but it's, an, it's a good family activity. It's clean family fun. It's what it is. I mean, they get addicted to the archery and not the other stuff that's out there, and it keeps the family close. More and more a sensitivity on the parts of, of parents and grandparents to get their kids involved in outdoor activities. Um, it seems like for 20 or 30 years there, we were taking a giant step backwards, the Nintendos and Game Boys and all that stuff. Kids yeah. spending way too much time in front of the TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The games were the parents, you know, and it's sad, but it was. But our boys have always done, I mean, they've done it since they were three and four years old. So. Well, I know you're a little reluctant, so thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. Okay. The best of luck um, for you and for the rest of your family. Okay, thank you. Here right now with Linda Marlowe, um, here at the Wausau Possum Classic 3D Archery Tournament. Again, enjoying a beautiful day here in Chipley, Florida at Hard Labor Creek Shooting Sports. An opportunity for uh, families such as Linda's to get out here and enjoy this great outdoors. It's a wonderful venue for shotgun sports, long gun. Uh, they've got a rifle range and pistol ranges, as well as the 3D archery. So if you're looking for an opportunity to to get involved with the rest of your family outdoors, Hard Labor Creek Shooting Sports just might be something to look at. We'll be right back.